I'm gonna say I may be doing videos all day and because it's so cold and um, that winter storm Harper it put a whooping in my city yes and because I, I live in central New York so we got hit pretty good I can't even see my steps and guess who gonna go shovel them today you guessed it not me all right so this is my package from JBNews there it is, the bag. And yes, I always open it up first. And I didn't go through everything. I didn't open up everything. But wait till y'all see what I got in this haul today. I hope y'all like my ears. I hope y'all like my hair. Yeah, I blew out my afro and this is what happened. Y'all know I'm playing. This is a wig. This is from AliExpress. I paid less than $10 for this. But don't it look good, y'all? I, I like this. I wish my hair was really like this. But anyway, let me get back to this haul. All right. Well, JB and Eves is another beauty online store. It's similar to Shop Miss A, but their prices do vary. They do have things varying from one dollar all the way up to twenty dollars. And they used to have where you had ten dollars. Uh, if you bought ten dollars worth of products, you got free shipping. But due to the wonderful economy of this world. They had to raise their shipping minimum to $20 in order to pre receive free shipping and you get a free gift. Now, I do have a code. If you didn't watch my like my little code video, it's NEWME10 for 10% off, N-E-W-M-E-10 for 10% off. So, you can save a few coins, you know, on already great products and prices. All right. All right. Well, first item up, you know me and accessories. You know me and earrings. I can't help myself. But um, when I seen these tan beauties on the site, I thought they were going to be like have some type of mother of pearl iridescence to them. They do, but it's just like, it looks like marble, like a tan marble. And you got your, your flat discs on the top and your, you know, traditional post in the back with the clear rubber stopper. Um, these, I call these, these are like wind chimes for your ears, but aren't these beautiful? Um, I believe that everything that I'm showing you should still be in stock and usually all the accessories are a dollar. If they change or they're different, I will let you know, but this is a rose gold pair, but they have it listed as bronze. They have bronze, silver, and gold available I still believe but I just love the fluidity and the movement in these earrings and I like the fact that they have a rhinestone stud on the top instead of just a fish hook and you get you know the flat button posts in the back and there's um, a warning on the back stating that this product can expose you to chemicals including Katie Cadmium, lead, and nickel, which are known in the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. For more information, go to www.p65warnings.ca.gov. This product is not intended for children 12 and under made in China. And, um, and this one has uh, lead compliant not intended for children under the age of 14 made in china so i mean it's not like you're gonna be wearing them for days on end i wear them when i want to take pictures go to an event whatever get home take them out and as y'all know my kids is grown so um i don't have to worry about no reproductive system i'm done my baby factory closed it's it's closed done all right up next this beautiful item right here oh i, I love these things I'd, I'd love it even more if I could get it open. Um, I do love brooches. Put the bag over here. Um, I hope you can see that it does have the Aurora Borealis property to it. But I, I got these to pin my scarves together and, you know, just have an accent on my coat, on my lapel or what have you. Or, you know, on a jean jacket, sparkle a little bit, you know. But, um, just, I, I don't know. I don't even know where I was going with that. Because I'm thinking ahead of myself. I would like to know what you beauties and cuties would like me to show. If you want me to review more products, do more swatches, let me know. Because I do have clothing items that I bought and shoes, you know, for us plus size, plus footed women. 
and I don't know how to set that up really yet so I can give you guys a clear picture of what I have on because right now I just film through my phone and as you can see I have a new light bulb I'm not as yellow as I used to be oh I told y'all I'm gonna get a new bulb um up next is a necklace and it has that same tree emblem and the same warning on the back and this is i believe this is called the oh i forgot what this is called oh dang but um it's more of a copper look to it almost if it was a little bit lighter it'd be rose gold but i do love layered chains and you know me it does have that metal smell to it but um i thought this was a cute piece you know to me this looks very fall autumn i don't know but you wear what you want when you want how you want it you know um and then i got another set of earrings now there was a method to my madness for getting these and I hope that in the springtime, you know, what these represent will not attack me. I'm just trying to get it to flip around. Aren't these adorable? But they like, they're unique. They're very chic. And yeah, they're bumblebees. They're so cute. And they got a pearl stud on the top. And your traditional post in the back with the stopper. Um, I got these also in red, but I got like, um, I don't know if y'all know, Gucci had a line with um, insects on it or a bee on it, and I got me a purse from AliExpress, so I got them bee earrings to go with the bee, you know, you know. Like I say, you got to coordinate. Um, another pair of earrings. Now, I call these the hypnotizers, but they are like a geometric style earring if I could get them together look at whoa you really want to show up you really want to show up and show out I have these in gold I think they're in the bag but they did fall out in the shop and say no I think I put them back in the bag oh yeah these are the other pair I, I, I gotta get it together I gotta get it together but these oh my gosh look at the movement and they're not that loud and once again, they do have the uh, rhinestone stud on the top and that warning in the back because it has that same tree emblem. It's, I don't even know what this company is called. I just call it tree, tree jewelry. I don't know. Who knows? But um, yes. Oh, my gosh. These are so cute. <gasps> mm -hmm. Like I said, I have them in silver and gold. Ooh, pardon me. Yep, here they go. Or should I say bronze? I didn't get the gold pair because I feel I have enough gold earrings. And I really don't wear gold like that. I would prefer rose gold. I love rose gold because to me that's like a peachy, pinky gold. But there they are in bronze. But they rose gold. But they say bronze on the listing. Okay. Oh. This is not another pair of earrings, but I got this to go on that purse I was just telling you about. You know, and the B on my purse looks pretty much like this. It has the red, you know, abdomen. And I got the earrings in red as well. Um, what else we got here? Because y'all know I saved my eyeshadow palettes for last. But honey... <laughs> Y'all, I don't know. I hope you, you, I hope y'all, you know, you went to the bathroom. I hope you got a good, strong bladder. Because when I show y'all this eyeshadow palette, you might just wee-wee yourself, okay? Um, I got an eyelash curly for my non-existent eyelashes. But, um, I thought this was so cute. And I'm actually terrified of eyelash curlers. Because I heard so many horror stories about it ripping your eyelashes out. But I just thought these were so cute. These had, like, I bought this, and it has sold out, but it is restocked. And they do have, I believe, like a turquoise or teal. I, this is pink, and they have purple. I mean, they do feel a little 
they a dollar esque. I think this was a dollar, and it feels exactly like a dollar. But I like it because he has the simulated marcasite stones here, and I might just when I do ever, if the Lord blesses me, and this government shutdown stops, because you know a girl gets a, a refund, and um, maybe I could get me a vanity so I could have this on display. And that was the box that it came in. And it comes with an additional eyelash guard with it that matches the uh, the the tool. What are you? What are you? What are you? Uh oh, oh, I forgot about this. Even though yes, I did open it, but I opened it to check it to make sure you know that the items are presentable to you, my beauties and cuties, and which they are. Um, we get it into some makeup now. This is, who is this? Oh, this is by Starry. This is their Collagen Boost Sparkle Lip Gloss. And I'm going to put some on now because y'all see me biting at my lips. So that means my lips is dry. Mm, okay. I mean, it's a thicker lip gloss, but it's not super sticky. And... Hopefully you can see the glitters in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a nice little lip gloss, and I got a concealer. You know, this is by Santi Concealer Super Smooth. Those two items were both a dollar. You know, as you can see, it's sealed. I don't know if you can see it, but it is still sealed. I haven't used that yet because I have so many other concealers I want to get through before I give that one a shot. And I have the other collagen sparkle. Now, you see how it looks in the tube, right? It don't come like that on your lips, as you can see with the, the raspberry colored one. But this is like a plum colored one with sparkle. Um, I had tried this on. It is, it's like I said, it's, it's a comfortable gloss. I mean, you don't feel the glitters in it, you know. So, it's just another gloss. But, you know, if you want to layer it over a matte lipstick or you know you really want to get that color you just gonna have to stack it up girl layer it up oh I did I do have my um invoice in here so I can let you know the styles of earrings that I have now this is quite a few things where I'm gonna have to do another video for these um that was my that's my free gift Wait, wait till y'all see my free gift, y'all. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, these cosmetic companies, these cheaper cosmetic companies do not be playing. They be coming for other companies' heads. Now, I got big hands, but I know I can't hold all of them. So I'm going to show you in two ses sessions of the liquid lipsticks I got. Well, I'm going to hold up one first. Well, well, here we go. <laughs> this is by PX Lux. Um, this kind of—I don't know. I think Tom Ford had something like this, where it looks like it looks like a, a, the basic lipstick bullet on the top, but it's actually a matte liquid lipstick. And this packaging is so upscale and high end. It has the rose gold around here and the matte black finish. This is. Yeah, this is shade number one, a nude. This is, I'm trying to go in order. I guess I didn't keep them in order. Oh, well, sorry, y'all. Um, but this is number four. That's like a uh, smoked or milky, I should say creamy milky raspberry. I'm going to do hand swatches on these. And um, like I said, this is coming off as more orange. But it's more of a brick or terracotta color. Um, that was number nine. The, this one was number four, I believe. And like I said, these are the PX Look Matte Long Lasting Lip Gloss. But we know what some, we already know with the situation with the matte and the lip gloss. Come on, companies, get it together. My ears are moving. Um, this is a beautiful chocolate brown and that's number eight um you know me and reds 
I really didn't like reds when I was younger, but now I love them. This is a red shade. Oh, wait, there's more. Um, this is number two. It's a little bit deeper than um, number one. And I got number three. That's more of a peachy nude. And this is number five. It's, it's like between, uh, it has like some purple properties, but like purple taupey. I don't know. I'm trying to, you know, describe the colors as best as possible. And that was that for the liquid lipsticks. Now, I'm going to get into this eyeshadow palette. Now, if you subscribe to BoxyCharm, which I do, and you got a particular Latina Spanish palette, in your box which I got along with the brushes yes I'm speaking upon this palette right here Alamar cosmetics no oh, sorry it's upside down I didn't get of course I got this in my boxy charm but on JB and Eve's y'all on JB and Eve's y'all like I said these companies is not playing now I'm gonna show you what looks so familiar about the two palettes. Well, some of, quite a few things are familiar about these two palettes. Um, let me get this one open. Now you see they have like all the tropical flowers inside the LMR Cosmetics with the palm and the hibiscus flowers. And as you can see, the outside packaging is matching the inside packaging of LMR Cosmetics, dupe number one. Okay, now this is just a sleeve, it just slides out. You get the same beautiful print on the uh, palette itself. But the good thing about this palette, y'all, it has a mirror. The Alamar Cosmetics, which I understand, I forgot her name, Gabby, the MUA, I believe her name is, who created Alamar Cosmetics. I love this palette. I haven't really dipped into it because y'all know I'm a makeup hoarder more than anything. But I have used this before, and I love this palette. I love this palette. I even want her Reina Del... I, I, let me not stop. Her volume 2 to this. Let me just put it that way. But um, let me see if I can... Put them side by side so you guys can get a comparison of shades and um i'm sorry y'all this is by as you can see this is by trend beauty and it is on the jmb and e site but look y'all what the what in the world what in the world i mean okay like I said, this is the LMR up top, and this is the Trend Beauty on bottom. I mean, I don't know if I should swatch this for y'all now and do comparisons or wait until later and just do a, a, a dupe video on this, but I'm going to just swatch a few of them. But hold on, I got to pause. My, 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 my dumb self forgot to get some makeup wipes. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm back. I got my JB and Eve's micellar water. I love this stuff. As you can see, I've been using it. Oh, car. And my my pads from um, Shop Miss A, the cotton rounds. I think I just ordered some more of these. I need to order like 10 more of these, but these are so good. I see why y'all love these. But, um, that side, I'm just gonna do a few uh, swatches between the Alamar Cosmetics and the Trend Beauty. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to swatch um, a couple of mattes and a couple of shimmers. We're going to go with just these top two and probably like the blue and the green. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to start off with La Costa. This is from the Alamar Cosmetics. And in the trend beauty palette and you could bend it all the way back um we're gonna go this is my tie up here those are them on my fingers i don't know they're looking like twins i don't know if they identical or fraternal okay that's from the lmr cosmetics i forgot the shade already that's a shame la costa and then this is 
Mai Tai. I mean, I can see La Costa has more of a pearly element, and the formula is creamier and but more buttery. And the Mai Tai at the bottom, like I said, they they looking like twins or sisters. So they got that together. Uh, do 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 do. Okay. And this my solar water is the truth. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cause I had gotten some a package from AliExpress, which was makeup. If you want me to haul that for you, let me know in the comments. Um, I had gotten an eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner felt tip, and that that mess would not move. I mean, I, I, you know how you do the rubbing test? It didn't move. It didn't budge. It didn't go nowhere. Um, and then it took me a, a hard time to get it off with the micellar water. I was like, what type of boo is this? Okay. Um, let's get back to these swatches. Um, should I do, I think I'm going to do Varadero, which is this shade right here. And, and this one is called Hibiscus. So let's get Varadero. I'm going to pick up a little bit more. Oh, I love that color. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. And then hibiscus, which is right here. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, you do see the slight difference. This is, you could tell that that is more, it has more pigment in it. And they trying to, they look at it. I call these cousins. First cousins. Let's swatch them. Varadero, right here. Oh. Oh, that is so beautiful. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. You go out of my cosmetics. And then hibiscus in the Trend Beauty. Yeah, y'all can see the difference in it. I mean, it is close, but it's no cigar. And it it tried it. It tried it. But if you can't get your, if you cannot, I believe the Alamar Cosmetics, um, Palette is $18, if I'm not mistaken, but you can always go to LMRCosmetics.com. I think it's $18, or it might be $24, I'm not sure, but, um, because I got it in my boxy charm and I forgot how much it's worth, and the Trend Beauty one I got from, um, JB and Eve's is only $6.99. Okay, one more matte. Well, two more mattes, because I did two shimmers, so now I gotta do two mattes. Durr, Monty, durr. Get it together, Monty. And no, that's not my whole name. Some of y'all know my, my real name, my whole name. Some of y'all do. And maybe one day I might share it with you. And I use way too much on that right there. Um, and I'm just drying it off on my pajama pants. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know how I do. Um... Let's see, what's next? What shall we swatch next? Um, I think I'm going to go with uh, the next two mats I'm going to try is the, that orange shade right there. That bright orange shade, Tropico. And the one up underneath it, which is Cafecito. I'm, I'm going to take my time and swatch them. And then this palette, it is Peachy right here. And then we got Sunrise. Uh, how you call a brown shade Sunrise? It ain't brown when the sun rises. I'm going to need y'all to name y'all shades a little bit better. Okay. Um, tropical. Right here. Oh, that is so smooth and silky. And this is peachy. That's smooth and silky too. All right. On my fingers. Tropical and peachy. Let's see how they swatch, shall we? Here's tropical and peachy. <gasps> Are they, are they identical? Are they identical twins? Are they identical twins? Are they identical twins? I think so. I believe so. I don't know, Trend Beauty. They coming for LMR Cosmetics. I don't know. Not to be confused with Trend Mood. Trend Beauty, okay? Okay. And I did, yeah, speaking of, okay. I did order, I'm putting another order for the crayon case. 
I got some new stuff to show y'all as soon as that comes in. Because y'all know I love me some super. Love me some super. Okay, now the last shade I said I was going to swatch is the Cafecito. And then our brown Sunrise. Okay. Cafecito. Sunrise. Do we have another set of twins? Do we got quadruplets up in this mug? Okay, cafecito and sunrise. And y'all see how they swatch. We got another set of twins, y'all. So if you like the LMR Cosmetics, but you want to save quite a bit of coin on it, um, get the Trend Beauty Palette. I believe it's a pretty good dupe for the LMR Cosmetics. And I'm glad I have both of them, just in case, you know, just in case. You never know. You never know. But as soon as I seen that palette, I was like, let me find out. Let me find out. Okay. Now, I want to swatch these liquid lipsticks right quick for you beauties and cuties. So, and I just take a dry pad. Oh, y'all know I'm big. Had my knee bent. And I ain't as young as I used to be. You know the joints be cricket and cracking. I sound like microwave popcorn and rice crispy sometimes when I get up. Oh yeah, let me show y'all my free gift I got. Now don't laugh. This is serious makeup business. But <laughs> laugh if you want to. Look at that. Who that look like? Who do that look like? Now this was a free gift. This is another PX Looks Matte Lip Gloss. But they trying to come for Rihanna. I do have the original Fenty Bomb lip gloss, gloss bomb, whatever. I got it. But when I seen this, I was like, oh, I could put this up underneath the lip gloss. You know? But um, I believe that this, this shade looks very similar to this one. Am I, am I mistaken? Am I wrong? It could be, you know, how this acrylic glass is. But, and, you know, we all know the properties of light and reflection and you know, passing through and all that other stuff. But I'm not going to get all scientific on you guys. Let me get these in order so I can swatch them properly. We're going to start with, see, I have one, two, three right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause for a second so that I could take this tape off because, you know, I'm not trying to keep y'all for an hour. Hold on, y'all. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, we're gonna start off with shade one. And I just wanna show you the beautiful, that it's not just a strip of gold packaging, but rose gold packaging, but it's all around the opening. This smells like, like, like fruit snacks with a hint of sweet tarts. It's not bad, but, um, I did try this shade on, and it does have petroleum in it. And when you put it on your lips, it's like, if you ever put Vaseline on your lips, and you know what Vaseline tastes like, that's what um, it, this tastes like. It smells okay, but the taste is a little off-putting, and it takes a while for, for it to, you know, dissip, dissipate, you know, off from your, from your nose or your olfactory senses. Yes, I know big words, too. Um... But, yeah, this is shade one. And it's a beautiful peachy nude. Now, this would go great if your lips were lined with, like, a slightly brown liner. But if you want to rock out with just it on your lips or you like this shade, more power to you. You go, girl, boy. Y'all. This is number two. This to me has more of a purple undertone to it. Or I don't know, could be mauve, could be taupe. Let your eyes tell you what color that you see. But that's number two. Oh, it is more pinky. Well, according to the light that I have. But that's shade two. And this is number three. 
because uh, if you you guys watched my Cyber Monday haul, you know I have the crayon case, lip liner, eyeliner, crayons. You know the pencils, the colored pencils. So these lighter shades, I will be lining with them colored pencils. But this is number three. Oh, this is pretty, pretty. And uh, now we're getting into some more deeper colors. This is number four, like that milky raspberry. But that's according to the way it looks in the glass. You know, it'll be a different story. Because it sure is a whole lot deeper when you swatch it. That's a pretty burgundy shade. Beautiful. Um, then we got shade number five. I don't even know how to describe it. Like I said, what your eyes see, that's what color it is to you. This is more of a very deep plum. And it has some brown aspects to it. That one smells a little cinnamony. See? Yeah, it smells a little cinnamony, but it still smells good. I just hope it don't taste like Vaseline. Who knows? But there's that shade at the bottom. It's like a plum brown. And then this is a true brown. This is number eight. To me, this puts me into the line of the Fenty Brown Liquid Lipstick or even Jeffree Star's Dominatrix Lippy. Ooh, okay. Beautiful dark chocolate shade. Doodle brown. Doodle brown. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but there it is at the bottom. That is a beautiful. And um, we got number nine, which is that orange brick terracotta shade. But it don't look so terracotta. It's looking more like an orange cranberry or blood orange. So, you know, or, like I said, it's coming across as red, but it is deeper than that. But y'all y'all know how lighting does. And um, hopefully I can let these dry down in time. And this is number 12, which is that red shade. 